my friend Mimi is on the phone right now. I feel really bad because we've been FaceTiming for like two hours and I don't want to hang up on her. But subscribe to her channel. I will link it down below. <laughs> Say hi, Mimi. <laughs> because I know you're gonna want to make a running list of everything that I have to share with you guys today. And what's really cool is that if you watch through the entire video, at the end you may find a surprise. You've probably seen this all over the internet, but for the first item that I've been loving for fall, has been the fuzzy Teddy Sherpa trend. I'm literally addicted. You've probably seen me wear a few of them in some of my videos. My, you've seen me wear this purple one that I got from Forever 21 in a few of my videos, like how I wipe my teeth and a few of my vlogs. I love that one, but then these two are the primary ones that I wanted to talk about. I actually got them from Amazon. So you've probably seen the IMG jacket and I couldn't really fathom spending $120 on a jacket. Um, I actually did buy that jacket and within 48 hours, I returned that. <laughs> I really didn't like it at all and just the way it fit me and I couldn't fathom spending $120 on a jacket that won't even keep me warm considering where I live in like Minnesota where it's one of the coldest states, if not the coldest in America. Um, I just don't think it's worth my coin. So I went to Amazon, the next best thing, and I snagged both of these for $35 each, and it was on Prime. So I highly recommend it. I got the traditional basic Teddy one, and then this one is my favorite one, and I don't think the color is really gonna do justice for it on camera. I would say when you order like a Shirley Temple, that fake cherry that they put in there, that's this color. And it's really nice, and it's like fiery, and I really love it. The next item I've been loving for working out are these leggings from Amazon as well. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for what I'm about to say, but... I am not a fan of Lululemon. I have tried their leggings before and I just don't like the way they feel on my skin and they're just not for me. I'm more of like an athleta person, just an opinion. However, these leggings are really awesome. When I buy workout leggings, I like to have them be colored. I'm not a fan of just like plain black for working out. So I really like blue, I like these ones, and then the difference between this one and that one is that this one has pockets, so that's really nice as well. The next item I have are my favorite shoes, and these bad boys have my favorite this fall. I'll start with these ones. These ones are by the brand Cupid. I have been searching for a really good snake booty, and I found her. I really like them because they're point toe, so they're not too basic, and they have like studs on the sides of them, and my favorite thing about them is the heel. I see a lot of snake booties that have black chunk heels, but I was looking for one that had the solid snake as the heel, and if that does that for me, I will obviously link it down below like I said, but if you do get it, don't say I didn't warn you, because if you do order them, you need to order like a whole size down. Like typically I wear eight and a half, nine, and these are seven and a half. I don't know why their sizing is like that, but it just is. The next item I have, you've probably seen it, it's super basic, but it's the Jaden Doc Martin boot. It took me a long time to get these. I had been looking at them for a year, but I couldn't commit to the price, but 
I finally did and it's the best. Well, honestly, first of all, I have to say, all of my friends, even my family, my mom, my dad, my brother, everyone denied, they were like, they're ugly, they're not gonna work. You are being really loud. Who, <laughs> me? Yes. Oh my God, really? Yes. But everyone in my family, my mom, my dad, and my brother, all denied that they were cute. They're like, they're so ugly, blah, 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 and they were just trash talking it. And I asked for them as a gift for my birthday, didn't get it. <laughs> so I worked my own and I bought them myself. And honestly, greatest present to myself, I really wear them every single day. I've had them for four months and they still look perfect, like brand new. Um, highly recommend. The last item, I don't want to classify it as fashion, but like kind of miscellaneous, but I need. And they are these blue light glasses. Um, for someone like me, that's a student, and also I do have a real job um, with like digital things, like digital marketing, and like all I'm doing is looking at a screen all day long and taking notes in class. My eyes just hurt so bad. I got these from Amazon and they were literally like dirt cheap. They were like 14 or 16 bucks. And you can see the reflection that they're giving against like the, I'm looking at my monitor right now. So like you're getting that reflection of it and they work so well. Um, the best way I can describe what blue light does for you is if you have an iPhone and your iPhone like switches to like nighttime mode where it turns like kind of yellow and your eyes just suddenly feel like at ease, that's what happens when you put on the blue light glasses. I highly recommend them and I use them literally every single day. So the next part is beauty and I put everything in this colossal bag and that's the first thing that I have to start with is the colossal bag because I actually got the chance to work with Maybelline a month ago. Flashback. of what I think of the products, but I also have like non-Maybelline things in here also. But I just wanted to throw that out there. I got to try a lot of products that I had never even seen myself before in the store, and I really want to share a bunch of them with you guys. If anybody knows me, they know that I've been using the same lipstick for... since the 10th grade. Um, the shade is Raging Raisin by Maybelline. I've probably gotten through... More than like 10 tubes at least, because I wear that every single day. And it's my go-to. But their new lipstick that they came out with is their Maybelline Superstay Crayon. And it looks like this. Um, I have just about every color. I think I'm missing one, but I love all of them. My favorite color that does go like as a perfect match with my Raging Raisin is shade number five, Live on, Live on the Edge. And the one thing I really like about the lip pencil crayons is that even though it's a lipstick, like it's still sharp. Like, can you see that? Like when I like, and you can like twist it up. So like, I'm not a beauty guru by, by the way. Like do not make fun of me. Like I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, can you see how it's like pointy at the top? And like, 
there's a lot of product in here. I know it looks brand new, like I never used it. I have like two of every shade, so I just wanted it to look pretty. Literally all of my lipsticks are like flat and like ugly, but I wanted the video to be like aesthetically blazing. But like literally, like that's so much product. That's not even all of it. And the other really nice thing is, like I said, all of my lipsticks are literally flat to the bottom. Um, if you pull, bottom has a turn. You're being so loud. <laughs> I feel bad. And the other thing that's really nice about the pencil is if you pull the bottom, there's a sharpener. And so you can sharpen it so that it can be like sharper as like, like crisper for your lips. But I mean, I use it mainly as a lipstick, but like I will also like line my lips with it. So I really like that feature. You did good, Maybelline. And they smell nice too. So the colors that I have, I'm like missing like two of like the really dark like vampy shades. But the first one we have is number 40, which is like the fieriest red that there is. And then we have number 50, 55, shade number 60, shade 35, shade 20, shade 25, and my favorite, shade number 5. Another thing that was on the bus was the Colossal Mascara. Obviously, I own every single mascara from Maybelline, but I thought it was really cool that they amped up the Colossal Mascara because of its shape and like the formula of it, but also I like that they did a travel size because I'm like an avid lash wearer. If you know me, I'm addicted to lashes. This one is really nice because like as I wear like mink lashes like what I'm wearing right now, they're really dramatic and they don't really give any attention to my bottom lashes. This is literally the answer to my problems and it literally like identifies them and makes them know that they're there and the formula is spot on. Next for brows, I would say I have the most experience with dip pomade and powder. They sent me uh, a pomade that I already used to use, and they sent me this one, which is the Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade, and it comes with a little brush, and it just looks like this. The one I have is literally like so empty, <laughs> but um, I'll just show a new one for the sake of the video. I mean, it looks like this, nothing special, um, but it totally works, and I am guilty of sleeping with my makeup, but my brows were literally not budge, stay on. And I use the shade like 262, I think it's called, like dark brown, like dark brown black. Um, sometimes I use black, sometimes I don't. I'd say it depends on what I'm feeling. Another brow product is the Tattoo Studio Waterproof Gel. Um, I had never used a product like this before, and like this is what the box looks like, and I think it's really insane. Um, I'd seen the commercials with it with um, Gigi Hadid and I never thought anything of it but I actually really like it. So it comes looking like this, kind of like a lip gloss, kind of like because it's like a squeezy too. But when you undo it, it's like a dofu. Dofu. It's. Whoa. But when you undo it, it's kind of like a doe foot applicator, and I just swipe it over my brows. Or I like twist some of the product onto the back of my hand, and then I use a brush and like put it onto my eyebrows like a pomade. And it works really nice, and it dries really good. A product that was 1000% new to me is a brow pencil. I've never used a brow pencil in the entirety of my life, which is really surprising, just because I feel like it takes a lot of skill. Um, and I don't have that. <laughs> it's just right here, it's the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim Pencil, and it's just your average brow pencil, and it twists up like this, and then you have your spoolie on the other end, which mine is very dirty because I actually used it today, and it works. Um, one thing I've been noticing is, like, I wouldn't call myself a pencil user, but if there's spots I want to fix, um, or if, like, my arch isn't high enough or I just need little places to, like, spot them, the pencil is it. 
and it's really affordable and I really like the color. My next favorite thing from Maybelline is the Tattoo Studio Gel Cream Eyeshadows from Maybelline and I don't like to go crazy with my eyeshadow but I will use this. It's literally so cool and I have two shades. I have Scarlet and Golden Girl. And the thing I like about them is that. <laughs> the thing I like is that with a Kabuki brush, I literally, you can literally tell like this one is literally like dug into and like empty because I literally use a Kabuki brush and like put it all over my body and it makes my body like all sparkly and glittery and it doesn't transfer onto your clothes because it has 24 hour wear and it's really cool. I get so many compliments on it and it shows up in really nice photos. My last product from Maybelline is probably their newest product and it is their setting spray. See, I had seen it and heard about it, but I haven't actually seen it in the store physically. And I love that it's like purple. And the formula is really good. I used it today. It like, I can't describe it. Like, how? I really like it. It smells so good. And it kind of reminds me of L'Oreal setting spray. I like them both for different things that they do. However, I like to use them both. I spray this one first, and then I spray the L'Oreal one again over my face. I finished with the Maybelline goodies, but I still have some more broody products. Broody products. Broody, 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 broody. Booty, 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 rocking everywhere. This perfume by Olivia Care Body Mist in Sugar Rose is really good. It smells so good. It's actually from Target and it was like $7. It's really cute and it comes in this glass bottle. Um, I keep this actually in my backpack because it's really nice to like freshen up sometimes at school. And like literally everybody tells me like this is my scent. Like when I, when they think of me or like when I'm like walking by, they're like that's Nicole. Like it smells, it's so so. Like it just smells like that clean, fresh smelling. Like I'm not going to sit here and describe it to you. I'm not a commercial. But it smells really good, like you like just got out of the shower. I really like it, and it's just something you've never smelled before. The next item I have are some lashes. Um, I have been, whew, my lash drawer is overflowing. For reasons I cannot share yet, I am actually working on something really cool, and when I have enough, confirmation I will share with you guys and it's just gonna be super super cool so stay tuned for the project that I have coming up maybe in the next couple months however some lashes that are less dramatic than the ones that I have on right now are from AOA if you guys wear Ardell Wispies you need to stop buying them because look what I have literally a do if the camera will focus literally an exact do you literally pay Eleven or twelve dollars for like five lashes from Ardell. These ones were five dollars for six pairs. I think that's literally so crazy, and they're longer and wispier and so perfect. I've probably gone through ten, probably five of this one, five of each. But this one is another one. I know it looks like super like dramatic and long, but look at it. I really like this one for every single day, and it's really beautiful. I know it looks so dramatic, but when you put mascara on it, it literally looks so perfect. So when it comes to storing my lashes, a really cute way that I have found that works for me is these bad boys right here. Um, no, I don't have pills in them. If you open them up, that's where I keep my lashes. Um, I feel like my lashes are always blowing away from like the air vents from the ceiling and I'm always like crawling on the floor looking for them, but not anymore. They're literally so cute and they have their own compartments and it makes me really happy. And then in this one I have more of my natural lashes. So I think that's a really fun and easy way to keep your lashes organized. The last bad boy that I have for my beauty products that I've been loving is a Vanity Planet skincare spin brush set. 
I have never had a problem with acne in my life before, however, I wanted to take my skin to the next level. Like, I wanted like the glowy, like dewy, bare faced, and this has got me there. Originally, this retails for $129. I did not pay $129. There's no way I'd ever pay $129 for this. However, is it comparable to the Clarisonic? Yes. Is it better than the Clarisonic? I don't know, I haven't tried it, but maybe. If you're still watching this video, I want you to comment me because I literally miss her because I hung up because she was just being too loud on the phone. I actually had an influencer discount from some other YouTube video that I watched and I ended up paying like $40 for it. And I know they do sell it at Target, so you can do a price match because I know it is not $40 at Target. But best thing ever, I use it every single day, twice a day, three days a week. And I actually can give an honest testimony that I've been using this since May. So now it's October 28th, June, July, August, September, October, five months. And I have seen a difference in my skin and I'm sure you will too. of this video is going to be music that I like. Um, I have a lot of songs that I've been really loving this month and I'm just going to not play them because I'm not trying to get copyrighted. Don't hurt me. <laughs> um, I'm just going to um, put like their albums right here or something like cute like that. But of course I'm just going to put all the songs down below. Some artists that I've been loving include Pharrell, Tiana Taylor, Kanye, 1112, Tidra Moses, Her, Travis Scott, Justin Timberlake, Summer Walker, Lizzo, Mariah Carey, <laughs> Flume, Jungle, Foster the People, and literally so many others. <laughs> um, I could like literally go all day on music that I've been loving. I will literally just put them all down below. Scandinavia, Model in a Bottle, um, all of those. I think I'm always in a rush for school and I like, the setting spray is always in a rush. It's the last thing I do before school and I always like to do a beat face but then like put a hat on but like I can't spray the face and then just put the hat on because then the makeup will come off. So that's why I use one of these fans after I spray my face and then just like nicely, um, what's the word? What's the verb? Then I just nicely fan my face so that it dries really, really fast while I'm like packing my backpack. And it's literally so beautiful. Like it's literally so glittery and I love it. And one of you is gonna have it. The next item that I have, you saw me rave about it, and it is the lashes. I love Alexis. Alexis is my go-to. 
Don't buy any more Ardell Wispies that are overpriced. These ones are just as wispy, if not even wispier. And I got you guys two of them. So I'm really excited for some of you to play with these. Now we have two really nice items. The last two items in this bubble wrap are makeup bags. However, I think that I stuffed these makeup bags with some goodies. Well, first of all, I really like this makeup bag. Um, I have like three of them myself. Um, I got my roommate a couple when we moved in together and she really likes them too. And in here I have some cute goodies. So one thing that I've been loving, I don't know why it's a trend at all, but a lot of girls at school do them. Um, you just like, I don't know what they're called. Um, it doesn't say. But if you know, you literally know what these are. You put your keys on them and then you like put them on your wrist. Um, I put my house key on there, my mail key, all of the five nine and like, all of that. I don't know. They're cool. Like, they're really cute. I don't know why people like them, but it's such a trend. Literally, everybody has them on their wrist. And then, it looks like we have three scrunchies. I really like these scrunchies for fall. I've really been in the scrunchie vibe lately, and um, I really like how these colors look together. And then the next items I'm really excited for inside the bag. And I got you guys four kabuki brushes for your makeup. I got a round top, I'm not gonna open them. I got the round top one, so it's just a round kabuki. And then I got the slanted one, that's really good for like uh, bronzing. I would say contouring, but more bronzing. And then they have the really small brush, if you can see it, um, that you can use to like contour your nose, um, contour your forehead just a little bit, make a little angle. Yada, yada, yada. Inside of here, let's see what I got. Oh, we have two more scrunchies. And I really like these colors as well. Really cute for fall. And then I had to hook you guys up with some more lashes. We have four more pairs. Um, the two, the other two pairs of lashes that I showed you. This one is, I don't know how you say it, but Lulia, Lulia. I have no idea, but they look like this. And I, again, I've been wearing them forever. I've gone through probably five packs of them. Um, no, like five packs of like the pack of six. So probably 30 lashes. Oh, five times six is 30. Yes, so probably like 30 lashes of each. And I really like these ones. And then I had to give you guys some foaming lashes. So we have these pairs. This one is Brianna, and this one is Elida, and they look just like this. And yes, I like these ones as well. Um, you can wear these up to like, I think like 15 times, so that's really, really nice. However, I've been saving my favorite item for last. And the last item that I have been saving is my favorite, and I can't wait for you guys to have it. And it is one of these. Isn't it so cute? I'm just messing with you guys. I've already vacuum packed it already. Um, if you can't tell what it is, let me get it. One of these. I got you guys one of a. Uh, I got you guys one of my teddy jackets. It looks just exactly like mine. It's the same brand and everything. Literally, my favorite thing about fall is this teddy jacket, and I can't wait for you guys to have it. And I love it so much, and it's so soft, and yeah. The giveaway is actually open now until November 12th. And I will upload a new video probably on November 13th on that day. And then in that video, I will reveal the winner of the giveaway. All you need to do to be entered into this giveaway is give this video a big thumbs up, be subscribed to my channel, comment in the comment box what is your favorite thing about fall, favorite tradition, favorite thing to do, activity, X, Y, and Z. You can comment whatever your favorite fall festivity is. I just really like reading them and I wanna know what they are. And then you need to follow me on Instagram because of what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter every name into like a random generator and then it will pick a name so that it's not biased at all on who I pick. And then I will DM the lucky winner who won the giveaway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't believe that fall is here and it's almost November. Oh my gosh. I will see you guys in my next video. Hey, 
Siri FaceTime Mimi. Making a FaceTime call to Mimi Woman's Head with Media Dark Skin Tone. I finished my video! Yay. Do you want to say hi in it? Some more broody products, some more broody, 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 bro